Hi, I'm Tim Gideon for PCMag.com, and today Apple announced its new iPods. Let's take a look at the Nano. It's the most interesting one of the group. It comes with all these things, but it also comes with a video camera and a built-in mic and speaker. So to access the video camera, you just click on this video camera tab right here on the menu, and all of a sudden your fingers are blocking the camera because the lens is in an awkward place. But once you learn how to hold it, you can make all sorts of cool videos, either vertically or horizontally, and you can put all these cool effects on them as well. This one's called Cyborg. Okay, so if you look at a video that I took out on the streets of San Francisco, you can see that Steven Spielberg probably won't be using this for his next film, but it's great for people who like to post stuff to YouTube quickly, and it's easy to use. Inclusion of an FM radio is a first for an iPod, and like the Zune, you can tag songs, save them for purchase later, and there's also a live pause feature so that you can stop, and it will record up to 15 minutes of what you're listening to and play it back for you. Cover flow hasn't changed much. Uh, you still don't have a touch screen, so it's not like an iPod touches cover flow, but when you press the center button, you can play a song, and now you can actually hear it without earphones because there's a built-in speaker. There's also a pedometer. You just enter your weight and go on a little run. I only went about 22 steps and burned one calorie, but you get the idea. It'll give you a readout of where you went, what you did. You can also sync it with Nike Plus software to get a more advanced analysis of your workout. Voice Memos allows you to use the built-in mic and a screen with this fake mic in order to record little notes to yourself. The Genius feature also got a little more cool with Genius Mix, which will basically organize all your songs into subgenres and play DJ for you. As you can see, the screen also got a little bigger, even though the player didn't. It's a 2.2 inch screen now instead of a 2 inch screen, and the resolution is 376 by 240. The fifth generation Nano comes in two capacities, 8 gigs for $149, just like last year, and 16 gigs for $179, which is $20 cheaper than the old 16 gig model. I'm Tim Gideon for PC Magazine. Thanks for watching.